Family trees are what are called pedigree charts. They follow a bloodline in one direction. So this example starts with a youngster and goes backwards in time to his ancestors. That's what makes it a tree. I created something more of a hedge where it extends horizontally as well to include re living relatives. I'll show an example of that with my own family. This is the Kinfo family hedge. I am selected, Matthew, so it starts off with me and it shows my family two hops in any direction. So that would be my sister and her kids or husband, my mother and her siblings and parents, and my father and his siblings and parents. Now, two hops may not seem very much, but look what happens when I select my mother and I see the family from her point of view. Everyone sees the family from their own point of view. So here we have my mother can still get to me one hop or to her grandchildren by two hops. And then we have my mother's sisters and their families and spouses. We also have my mother's parents, Anne and Simon, and their siblings and parents. So from here, for example, I could click on uh, my paternal grandmother, Dina Shulman, and we see her family extend to all these other people. And I can continue by clicking on, let's say, Ava right over here, and we see her family extend. So this is very powerful. You can basically, ex you can basically surf through the tree in any direction and find thousands upon thousands of people. My interest in this is not only being able to explore my own family and their history, but also being able to mine it for interesting people people who have uh, some interesting connection to me. I can also one day hope to, I also hope one day to link it up to uh, as many other people as possible and to try to create a family tree that covers everybody in the world. Thank you.